Florida, our Croeso or Cedarborn. Good morning and welcome from Anglesey. Welcome to our Oblet Prayer this morning. My name is Rianne and I'm a member of the community of St. Teresa's in Rosniger, which is part of the mission here on Anglesey. It is wonderful that our Oblet family can come together and pray in this way. We are so grateful that you have joined us so that we can share God's word together. As we celebrate the gift of our faith, let us take a moment to pray for the gift of peace, which is needed in so many hearts and parts of the world. Let us start our prayer with a sign of God's great love for us. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive after all that he does in honour. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns, with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Our reading today comes from the Gospel of Mark. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two, and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick. No food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to them, wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. The 12 drove out many demons and they anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. I will read that again. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two, and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick. No food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to them, Wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. The twelve drove out many demons and they anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. In today's gospel, Jesus calls the twelve apostles and begins to send them out two by two. This was a key moment for the disciples as their life with Jesus is transformed into their vocation. It is the moment when the disciples become apostles, sent by Jesus to continue his ministry of teaching, healing and self-giving love. To serve, Jesus requires complete detachment from the world. As Jesus sent his disciples out, he gave them instructions that they are worth reflecting on as we ponder the word of God today. Jesus tells his disciples to take nothing for the journey, except a walking stick and sandals. They were not to take food, money, or even a second tunic. Jesus' words must have surprised his disciples. To take nothing on a journey is counterintuitive. But the radical poverty that Jesus asks of his disciples makes sense only in light of the great mission he is calling them to. To serve the Lord as his missionary disciple demands complete dependence on God. A disciple is called to trust that God's providential love provides for the journey, rather than being concerned with and distracted by the demands of material possessions. A disciple of Jesus fixes his or her gaze on the mission of sharing the life-giving message 
of the gospel with those in physical and spiritual need. The saints of the Christian tradition show that it is possible to live for union with God in radical detachment from the cares and possessions of this world. Like the disciples, we too are called to forms of detachment, suited to our states in life, as we depend on God to whom we pray. Speak to me, Lord. A question. What are you called to be detached from as a disciple of Jesus? As we bring our time of prayer to a close, let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Today may I give and receive love. Today may I work for justice. Today may I listen and pray. Today may I sing God's praises. Today may I delight in God's beauty. Today and every day. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Diolch and Gwedioch Hevoni Hedyu. Thank you for praying with us today.